music for a while. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think Drake is playing into this like whole Rihanna thing. I just don't know why. Yo, Drake, my nigga, like you, 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 you're you're. It's not like you and Rihanna got like some, like Chris Brown could do that more than you. Like they were never in a long relationship like that. Like she was like the chick everybody wanted. Yeah, you rapped about her. Yeah, y'all had a little thing. Y'all did date. But like everybody's acting like this has been his soulmate. I'm going to tell you the real thing I believe behind this whole like, you know, because look at this. Let me pull this up. Like, everybody saw this, right? And, and then people were like, yo, he unfollowed Rocky and Rihanna, right? So, um, if you go down, if you go down, um, this is on my page, you will see a video of Drake. Where is the video? Where is the video? Where is the video? Where is the video? It's like him at a basketball game, and he just has, like, this very odd facial expression. And everybody's saying, damn, that's him, like, going through it because he's looking at, you know, comments or news about um, Rocky and Rihanna. Where is it? Oh, remind me to talk about Nikki and, and what's the name, too. Okay, so here we go. This is the video, right? And everybody's like, yo, this is him, like, you know, kind of seeing the news and he looks hurt and this and third. Um, I'm just going to be honest with you, bro, like, I have a, this, this is my deep dive. I don't think, I don't think Drake and Rihanna has ever been locked in like that. Not to the way we think. I think this is more about Drake and Rocky. What I heard, and I think this is a very popular rumor. The same summer that Drake allegedly impregnated his baby mama, the, the, the alleged porn star that, that, you know, you know, no disrespect, the mother of Adonis. It was said that she fucked a few other famous people that summer too. One was ASAP Rocky. Drake said he wanted to. All right, that's cute. Yeah, Drake. Drake said a lot of shit. Drake want to. Drake want to wife Nikki. Drake want to wife everybody, bro. Come on, bro. Like, bro, we not about to like like. If Drake wanted to, bro, he would have put more effort out onto it. Drake been with a new girl every two weeks, my nigga. Like, come on, bro. Like, come the fuck on, bro. Like, like we not about to believe Drake with this shit. Like, nigga, we seen Drake with Serena. We seen Drake. Nigga, we seen Drake with every motherfucker. Drake was just at a Dodger Stadium with somebody. Like, come on, man. Like, like, l l bro, I'm being honest. So, all right, let me see if I can Google it. Sophie knows better. ASAP Rocky. Look. Iman Shumpert and ASAP could have fathered Drake's son. I'm, hey, listen, I'm not trying to spread nothing, but I, I really feel it's maybe more of a Rocky thing. Let's read the article. Turns out, blah, 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 could have easily been, uh, Iman Shumpert or ASAP could have easily been the father of Drake Kid. Seems Pusha T opened up a can of worms with this song, blah, blah, blah. Turns out she used to bang with her husband and ASAP Rocky. In fact, Shumper just posted a statement on the story confirming the allegation that yes, he used to mess with Sophie, but that was before he started messing with Tiana. Right? So Shumper confirmed that he used to fuck her, but before then. Is so that with ASAP Rocky, it's a little messier. Look, an anonymous source is claiming that he and Drake were dating Sophie at the time, at the same time. See? This is what I'm saying. I think this is a Drake Rocky thing. An anonymous source, and, and by the way, this is if this is even true. It might not even be true. An anonymous source claimed that he and Drake were dating Sophie at the same time, and she even thought he was the father of the of her unborn child at the time. Folks are saying that she didn't know who got her pregnant because she was messing with several different dudes around the same time. In the end, it turns out that Drake was the father through DNA tests. ASAP Rocky is not waiting on the allegations, but he was dating Kendall Jenner last year when Sophie got pregnant, so people are saying... That's what leads to the demise of that relationship. He was even, what? Okay, okay. See, this part is wild. See, this part is wild. He was even banging her while she was pregnant with Drake's baby, and he knew at the time. Like, this sounds messy. This sounds like some toxication. So I'm going to just chill. But l l let's read supposedly this, this, this nonsense right here, right? Wow. Drake. So Drake's porn star was fucking him, ASAP Rocky, James Harden, 
Iman Shumpert, and Beyonce's backup dancer. What the fuck? How do you get those people in a, in a mix? At the same time, all while being in a green card marriage. Pusha T, you have outdone yourself. Somebody says Sophie was concerned because she didn't know who the baby daddy was. It could have been ASAP, James, Iman, or the baby Beyonce backup dancer dude she was seeing, but she was a stat that was Drake, and then she didn't think it was ASAP or Drake, but she was pregnant it was Drake. Drake sincerely thought it was someone else's kid because she has been with so many niggas in a, in a short period. But once DNA confirmed it, he made her sign a confidentiality agreement. He isn't as bad as Pusha T is making out to be, just dealing with the fact that he has to be by a porn star that sees him on his check. ASAP Rocky knew everything that was going on because he was still seeing Sophie even while she was pregnant. Everyone knew that 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 she thought Drake was a father, but ASAP confirmed it as 100% true to Pusha T, who decided to use that information in the song. Sophie's a known groupie and a former escort. She married a man for a green card and is technically still married. Drake unfortunately picked the wrong one to not use protection with. She thinks she hit the lottery with him. Okay, now I don't know if this is true or not. I don't know. But what I'm thinking is that this is like that whole thing where they're like, yo, Drake unfollowed them. Maybe, I don't know, like maybe some shit with, 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 with him and Rocky. You know what I mean? I know y'all want to believe, oh my God, he was in love with, with Rihanna. Like, bro, like, has he even made an effort? My nigga, do y'all forget when, um, Chris Brown wanted Karuchi and Karuchi was trying to move on. Chris Brown was pulling up in front of the club like this. Like, what's up, ma? Like, he was pulling up like this. Like, what's up? Like, Drake ain't made no goddamn effort since, like, what album was it? That that he was vibing with her a lot. He ain't make not a goddamn effort that, at least publicly, maybe he's done privately, that made it seem like he wanted her. Somebody said they had matching tattoos. Man, some of these chicks got matching tattoos with a gay best friend, bro. I'm going to keep it 100. Nigga, do you think matching tattoos mean nothing to somebody like Rihanna? Somebody said, I tweeted at you for the $52 million screenshot. Yeah, Drake did not put fifty-two million dollars in that website, man. I'm telling you, that nigga did not, bro. Somebody said who had an AK tattoo and was still a hoe. <laughs> yo, chat. I'm telling y'all, man. I'm yo. This is the year I'm getting. Yo, chat. Y'all gonna help me? Yo, should I go on a dating show? Y'all gotta help me get in another relationship. This year I'm getting. A, yo, should I try another relationship this year? Huh? Do you think I should try another relationship this year, man? Like, cause it, on some real shit, like maybe we'll slow down all these little scallywags. Like, like, bro, like, look at. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Yo, yo, them little scallywags that jumped out trying to expose me look so dirty. Look so nasty. Look so filthy. Look so disgusting. Bro, it's like, yo, bro. He said, man, maybe I should just pop out with one. <laughs> bro, I done fucked them chicks, man. Them chicks came out of the plane looking like cockroaches, man. They had the headband on, they had antennas and bad weave. Bro, the antennas was there, like, just sticking up, bro. I kid you not. Kid you not, bro. Wait, you saw them hoes on No Jumper? Wait, No Jumper cover this shit? No way, bro. Get with Tanache. Tanache's a lost cause. Get a nine to five girl? Maybe. Should we do Tinder or like y'all want to put me on like a dating show? Bro, bro, I know y'all so disappointed. Like, I can't believe I flew. Bro, I'm telling you, dog. I'm going to keep it 100, bro. When I seen Shorty, bro, like, I ain't even look at the face, bro. Like, I, I, like she did look good in the dress. She did look good. good. She was wearing a red dress with the time when, when, when we would DM it. You feel me? But I'm going to just be honest. Like, bro, I'm going to keep it real with you. Yo, lace fronts disgust me. 
Like even the chick now, like I even told her, I, th I think she has wore a lace front. Before. I told her, I'm like, yo, that shit, uh, that shit turned me off. I can't fuck with nobody with a lace front. That shit's disgusting. No way. Mm -mm. I need an A-list woman. Maybe to settle down. I be doing too much. Nigga, I be just, I be having a lot of fun, yo. I be like, nigga, I ain't gonna lie to you. I be flying out like multiple bitches and just let them figure it out. <laughs> I fly them all out. And, I, and, and sometimes I'll just come around. I'll bring them around each other. They'll, they'll be like, wait, wait, who you here for? They'll be like, act. They'll be like, who you here for? Act. Yo, I did that. Yo, I did that in, um, oh my God. But she was bad, though. Yo, I did that in St. Thomas, right? So we go to St. Thomas. Remember when I went to St. Thomas? So the homies were going to bring some chicks, but they bring like regular chicks. So I'm like, all right, yo, yo, I'm going to get them some, some I'm going to get some like little IG models out of the DMs. I'm going to bring them like to St. Thomas with us. Bro, so I, I hit up like mad chicks. We get, we get like two different groups of like friends, like three and like, anyway, the chick thought like, you know, here's the thing. I was talking to like, a girl already. You feel me? Like I was talking to a girl that was coming with us. And then the girl who I also flew out who she thinks she coming for me. It's kind of the same situation. She thinks she coming for me. And then she had friends with her. Bruh, yo, she was bad. I ain't gonna lie to you. But um, you know, I, I had to hold it down because I was with a chick. So one of my man's ended up fuck, but um Yeah. I don't know, like maybe I got a problem. Yo, chat. I was just my nigga, you gotta realize all these things, yo. All these hoes is getting is business write offs. Like, you know how much money I write off in business expenses, and it's not like no fraudulent shit. It's just, bro, I spend a lot of money. That's why it was another thing I was hearing talking about. Yo, my cars got declined. Yo, I kid you not. If I don't have one hundred fifty thousand dollars in bills a month, I'm probably a bitch. Like I'm telling you, I, my shit is always paying first of the month. I gotta pay. Like ten grand for, for for the spot we recorded. Um, I gotta pay three fucking phone bills. Um, internet for two places, light bill for here, gas. Um, do I, light for the other spot. I also gotta do payroll for people who work for me. Um, shit, I've been paying recently. F Yo, this is wild though. I, I, not nothing to pro I'm spending forty thousand dollars a year in 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 car insurance. I just got some tickets too. I'm I'm fucked. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But um, bro, I got mad bills, bro. It's just like, man, you know, I just gotta keep working type shit. You feel me? But like, just imagine like the the, the audacity of those little whores for a little cheap ass hotel. Just try to, I don't know, bro. Somebody said, said what? Somebody said that by my mama house. Yeah. I my mama house is cash. My mama car is cash, but I, but her car is on my her car is on my. I pay her car insurance, so all my cars and her car, I pay. Somebody said twenty k on food. Yo, that, I don't know how much I spend on food, yo. It's like sometimes I be just like ordering for like the day. It might be like a hundred dollars. Yeah, that's not good. A hundred times three, that's probably like three thousand. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. How did I feel when I bought my mama house? Oh, the best feel in the world. Oh my god, the best feel in the world. Like I yo, I bought my mama house before I bought this one. And like, yo, I'll tell you, like, it was the best feel in the world. It was also a really good feeling buying her her that car. Like I teared up. Um did I tear up? Like, well, I have the video, so I was like, look, I'm like, damn. Well, I think I'm one of those people, like, based on my mom's reaction, if my mom cry, like, I'll kind of get a little teary-eyed because, like, I don't know. Bro, I, I don't know if that means me I'm a mama boy, but, like, nigga, I, I kind of wear the pain of, like, how hard my mom worked worked for me and the sacrifices she makes. So anytime she's, like, feeling, it's not even pain, but, like, anytime she gets emotional, I, I get a little slightly, I don't know. But um no that that was amazing it was amazing I been, I was t I t she called me today I don't know why I'm rambling before I get into real shit she she called me today and um so she, she's a I don't want to give up too much of you know info she, she's still teaching and I've been I tried to talk to her before last year because because this year has been weird for her 
it's been like yo half of it is like she's teaching in like one of the rooms in her house where like you know it's just virtual and then they just went back into the school it's like little kids it's little kids but i'm i've been trying to tell her i'm like yo you gotta quit you feel me and my mom is like my grandma where it's like they won't ever i don't know if your family is like that like but 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 i grew up kind of like in a matriarchy like in terms of family my mom has to have something where she's super active and feel super needed so like what she does now she feels needed you know she likes working with kids but i'm looking i'm looking at it like yo mom like they they bullshitting with you today is like you teach at home tomorrow is like come in because it's covid shit I'm like you gotta just quit but um i reminded her today that at the end of this school year i'm a I'm going to do another attempt to try to get her to quit, but she don't want to quit. My mom don't want to quit her job. You feel me? Somebody said, my mom need a man. Yo, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Like, other than seeing her with my dad, I've never really seen her with a man. It's like one of those weird things. I used to, like, get her these really nice vacations. And, like, I don't know, like, maybe because we're dudes. Like, I don't even want to think about, like, even though that would probably make, I don't know. Be like, oh, yeah, you should go with, go with a dude you like. Mm -hmm. I always be like, Yo, oh, I'll pay for, like, my, like, one of my cousins is basically, like, older. So, like, my, one of my cousins is, like, 40-something. So, like, you be like, yeah, you, you, and she's, like, friends with my mom. So, I'm like, yo, y'all go together. But I can't have my mom go with a nigga. First of all, I couldn't. I would feel a way if I'm paying for some shit for my mom and a nigga came. Why he not paying? I can't, yo, my mom couldn't date no bum ass nigga. That's one thing I always thank my mom for. Like, she never ever, sh she never brought a nigga around us. It's like she just gave up, like, her whole little happiness for us. It's, just, it's, it's the most selfless thing I've ever seen in life. Because I wouldn't do the same for no kids. I'm still smashing hoes. But the only thing I be telling my mom is like, yo, I, I, bro, I'm a dude. Like, I can't tell my mom get a man. Like, no, we ain't doing that. I tell her to get friends. Like, hey, you should get friends to travel with, cause she likes traveling. I'm like, get, get some traveling buddies. Get me. I ain't saying necessarily they gotta be a woman, but I'm like, yeah. Nah, she great, but she, she called me. She keep, yo, I I told her I'm going to get the vaccine for her, though. I'm going to get the vaccine for her. I'm going to get the vaccine. Chat, she, she's, she got the vaccine. My other two brothers got the vaccine because of her. Um, I'm going to get it. Just my mom. Oh, I got her jewelry for, what I get? I got her jewelry for Christmas. So my grandmother had passed away, so I got her, like, this pendant. Like, you know those little pendants? You, you see Meek Mill wear them. Like, you know the one he has with little Snoop? It's, like, diamond around it, and it has, like, a pitcher and a little thingy, and it's, like, iced out. Um, I didn't get it, like, iced out. It's, like, she, that's not her style, but, like, I got it her style, but it has the, 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 the little thing with, like, my grandmother, picture with her, and it, like, spins. It's cool. It's cool. So I said, like, give her grandkids and start a family. I'm the youngest of three. Like, why the fuck I'm going to start? Y'all be looking at my brothers like, yo, what is y'all, like, worthless-ass niggas doing? But one of my brothers just engaged, yo. He just engaged. I'm so happy. Well, nah, I ain't really happy for him. Well, well no, no, well, I guess I'm happy for him, but that's not me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I want him to do all that shit. His birth, his birthday, um, for his birthday since he got, because he, he got, pr not pregnant, he got, he engaged in, in Mexico and he sent us a video. Um, his birthday was on the 10th, but we celebrated early in January. So I, I gave him 10,000 cash and I was just like, yo, listen, that's for, you know, cause he has a house now. So I'm like, yo, I said, I, I know you might have to pay some shit cause you, you trying to do this marriage shit and impress this girl. So take that, pay your mortgage a couple of times, you know what I mean? And, um, good luck, my brother. Good luck. Chat, I, I, 
the I don't care about the vaccine, bro. I only like this vaccine shit is just like, bro. I don't want to. I'm gonna be honest with you. If, if my, my two brothers are vaccinated and I'm and I'm like gonna be anti-vax. If my mom ever got sick, bro, I'm telling you, like I'll be done. Like I'm, I'm good. So so that's it's like one of those things, like nigga. Nigga, I'm not Joe Rogan, nigga. The fuck, like, nigga, I'm about to take that vaccine, nigga. I'm about to just, I'm gonna do it just for my mom because I like, I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna feel a way if, if like you know she start treating me different from my brothers because I'm not vaccinated. And what's the fucking reason why I wouldn't be? You know what I mean? All right, cool. Like we get it. It's not the best thing in the fucking world, or it doesn't solve every problem. But even if it's a placebo, it gives people some peace of mind. Even though I ain't gonna lie, man, I've been doing some research. Now I'm playing. I thought no vax Kyrie. You know what I mean? Anyway, I don't even know. All right, cool. Yo, let's get to some fucking hip hop shit. My bad. I'm over here like sob story, y'all, to, to whatever. Yeah, my mom is doing great. Um, we're we're all doing great. Um, I'm very blessed. I'm working harder than I've ever worked in years. I have goals that I'm setting to really try to turn what I believe has been a pretty good career into legendary mogul status. Um, I'm working on putting people on. I actually have, I don't want to spoil it, I have a very important meeting coming up. Where you know I'm bringing other people towards the forefront, and it's just showing that the influence of me and y'all uh, matters to people in corporate America. Because if we give a cosign to somebody, they're down to listen to them. You know what I mean? Um, I like that. Anyway, 